I'm Isaac Nanny. I'm a product marketing manager with uh, PeachBit and New Riders. I'm here with uh, Stephanie Sullivan and Greg Ruiz here at South by Southwest. Welcome. Thanks. It's about the uh, CS4 version of your book and uh, how is it different from the previous edition? Basically we did the same basic projects that are in CS3 but Dreamweaver changed substantially. This is probably one of the biggest um, overhauls of the entire interface and so it changed enough that we really needed to change the book. New workflows, new ways things you know happen. Everything looks different, it's in different places. However, in the process, being the kind of person that we, people we are, in other words, she's saying she's um, got that compulsive disorder. <laughs> like, know? I can't leave it alone. <laughs> right. So I did actually change some of the techniques, updated them, because the web is always changing. Right. So if there's a better way to do it now, you know, it showed in, uh, some different ways of clearing floats, and um, Chapter 4 is substantially different. Mm -hmm. um, chapter 3 had to be dropped because the tool um, that we use, the layout, layout mode, um, has been pulled from the product. So we dropped chapter three and had to integrate all the ideas into chapter four. So chapter four is a very new chapter. I like it a lot better and actually is available for um, on the website. <laughs> and then chapter six, yes. where we get into Ajax uh, stuff, we, in the old book we had to do a lot of things by hand. Right. So we went through the actual writing of a lot of the JavaScript by hand. Whereas now with Dreamer CS4, it does everything basically in the click of a button. So we were able to consolidate a lot of that workflow um, and make it much more clear and concise as opposed to having to get dirty with, uh, with, with a lot of JavaScript. What are some of the challenges that web designers face using CSS uh, and how does Dreamweaver help with that? One of the, the, the common misconceptions that we I hear on the Adobe side a lot is that you know, Dreamweaver is a crutch. It's, uh, it's a it's a tool for beginners, you know. Where uh, I would disagree, you know. I would say Stephanie would probably disagree uh, uh, strongly as well, because Dreamweaver is just a tool. It's a tool that helps you overcome the challenges that you uh, are facing in your workflow, just like any other tool. Um, like she says, it can be used for both good and evil. Uh, so I think that's well, yeah. And I think one of the issues is is that a lot of people when they're learning, they don't really want to learn the code. They think that they can grab a WYSIWYG like Dreamweaver and it's going to build the website for them. That is a misconception. I believe you should always keep it in split view so that even when you're doing things in design, you're watching that code and keeping an eye on it and making sure that you know, you know enough to be writing solid codes. To understand CSS before coming to Dreamweaver and your book, Mastering uh, CSS with Dreamweaver CS4, exactly. helps, you to, helps you to get to that point. Right. Exactly. And, and I think it's also, um, you know, another side to that as well. I mean, you have, obviously, the need to, to understand what's, what's going on. Um, but for example, you know, as developers, we, we tend to bounce over into the browser all the time and rely on the browser. Well, within Dreamweaver CS4, we've actually got a live preview now, or a live view as it's called, which is the actual WebKit engine, the browser engine built right into the application. So what it's doing is speeding the workflow, where you know, we, we talk with a lot of developers and, and they say, well, I can do things like that with, for example, the Firebug extension for Mozilla. Yeah, but then you've still got to go copy the code back into your editing environment, make the changes, save the file, and look at it again. Right. Whereas working within Dreamweaver, I can actually stay right within my authoring environment, make all my changes, see them happening live. They're really, really saving me a, a, a boatload of time in the workflow. Uh, tell us about the show. What are you finding uh, new or exciting uh, at this year's uh, South by Southwest show? We just got here last 
<laughs> we just got here last night, so I'm looking forward to getting to some panels. Greg has to do a couple, and um, luckily this year I've only got to do my boss panel. Uh, last year was a heavy schedule, so I'm hoping to actually get to really get to other people's panels and, and see what's new and what's happening. I've got some clients that really want to look at ways to um, get their content. 